hey, this would be a video chart on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, I think the last time I did it, I was talking about how, um, I think it was after this day here when we fell through, talked about the 50-day, and if this one couldn't hold, we could expect a deeper pullback, uh, which has happened down to the 10,000 level, uh, which I believe I highlighted. And today, doing very well. It's 3.52 p.m. Eastern Time, so we still do have eight minutes before the market closes. And uh, as you can see right now, very good day. We're currently up just underneath. Never mind, we're up 170 points. So uh, the bulls are rocking. We look at the five-minute chart here. You can see that after the pullback this morning, uh, it's essentially been um, a nice uptrend. Had a few consolidation periods here. Uh, but right now you can see we are uh, pushing for highs and uh, we'll see if we can get up and uh, close above this uh, 10,160 level or not. But I don't really want to focus on the, the shorter term stuff like today. Really I want to talk about kind of uh, what's going on and what to expect, um, which you know should answer quite a few of the questions that I'm getting. Right now essentially what we're doing is uh, just testing and hovering around this 10,000 level. Yes, once I, again I, we have separated quite a bit from it. Uh, but until we can really get above any of these moving averages, you know, I'm not going to consider this some sort of bounce or you know reversal or anything. We're still well below the 10-day, which is that blue line there. So, uh, you know, if we can get some closes above that, yeah, then we can start to talk about a bounce and reversal. But you know, this market's had plenty of you know nice days like this, only to see you know things fall right back down. Uh, you know, just looking right back here and not even having to go back uh, very far, you can see a nice green day there, followed by a pullback, another nice green day and then followed by this big pullback here. So one green day doesn't necessarily mean anything. Uh, here was definitely a difference. Big green day and it followed itself up. So yeah, maybe it'll be something like this, but the point I'm trying to make is based, you know, making some sort of assumption off of one candle, uh, you just can't do that because the past history shows, you know, both sides of the coin there. Um, you know, and then the reverse side would be, you know, you have this big nasty red candle here and then look what happened. The thing, you know, went up to make new high. So um, like I said, in a nutshell, one day we can't make any, uh, you know, draw any conclusions from just that. So looking at an overall picture, the question really becomes, um, you know, can we get above this 10 day? And more importantly, can we stay above it? And then on the reverse side, are we going to be able to hold this 10,000 level? You can see going back here, it provided support and it's been doing a great job of providing support over the past few days. And, um, you know, after today, it's looking like it hopefully uh, will ultimately be the support here. But I wouldn't be surprised to see us come down here and check it. So really, we have to be asking ourselves, if 10,000 doesn't hold, then where is the next support level? And after that, I'm looking for a possible, or not a possible, my price target. My initial short-term one would be right down here at about the 9,800 level. You can see through the history of the chart, uh, it acted as uh, support here. And then here, once again, uh, when it did fall at this point, you know, it was a pretty quick down downwards move but did recover nicely uh, but nonetheless 9800 is going to be my uh, sh quick short term uh, price target if this 10,000 level can't hold with any sort of um, you know strong downwards uh, movement this day it looks like might have closed below it but you can see if it did it barely did so that wouldn't really count as a break we had some intraday moves below it but because we're looking at the daily chart we care about where the closes are so if we get some sort of high volume day that does close below this uh, you know, I think we will at least test 9,800, and if that doesn't hold, you know, once again, it could be a pretty quick journey down to 9,600, which is where these lows are over here. Now, in terms of any sort of bounces, like I said, the first one is going to be this 10-day. Uh, we also have the 50-day sitting right here, uh, but the end, at the end of the day, the ultimate one is going to be the 200-day. And not only that is, after we get above it, are we going to be able to maintain it? Uh, you know, we were really doing a good job last time here, got above it, pulled back, tested it, and I thought, okay, it's looking like we're going to start to separate ourselves from it, and then we had this day that put us right back below it, try to get above it here, couldn't quite do it, and then you've seen what happened. So uh, at the end of the day, the main thing we need to do is get above the 200-day, which is that orange line, but more importantly, stay above it, and when we go back to, you know, back test it, hold up like we did here, and not have any more of these things. So... Uh, from a bullish standpoint, there's still a lot of work to be done. Yesterday's great. I'm sure the day traders that have been going long uh, have been, you know, really uh, racking in those pro profits. But from the daily chart perspective, you know, there's still quite a bit of work to be done. And the trend is still down in the short term, as can be seen by this orange line here, or the blue line here, and this uh, gold line here, indicating that. And even the 50-day is starting to get a, a bearish curl to it. 
So overall, uh, let's watch 10,000. If that can hold, then uh, we could get a nice little bounce. Uh, if not, then I'm looking for 9,800 pretty quickly. And if 9,800 doesn't hold, it uh, shouldn't be much long before we're down here retesting these lows at 9,600. If there are any other questions on the chart, uh, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get free charts, setups, um, emails, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. It's all free. We've been making some good money with our alerts. So I'd encourage you to head to the website, uh, sign up, and see what it's all about. One more time, this was the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Enjoy your weekends.